the Sony XB32. This is a speaker I never listened to. This is the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus speaker. I listen to this almost all the time. I've got two of them, I can play them in stereo. They've got a firmware update. Previous firmware 35.38, new firmware 36.38. When we had our last firmware update, we had a problem, it was buggy. We lost headroom from our custom mode. All sorts of things happened. People were complaining, my bass is gone, my volume's gone. There were problems. They withdrew the firmware. They said, we're gonna fix it. Indeed, they've now released firmware 36.38. I'm on 35.38, Mr. Buggy. I'm going to tell you the differences. When I went from 35.38 to 36.38. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play them 60% when I say them, I'm going to play one speaker at this point. 60% bass up. Bass up is the default mode. When you've got the bass light on, that's bass up mode. It's a default mode if you do not use the EQs uh, via the app. So bass up, bass up default before the firmware, 35.38. Bass up afterwards, 36.38. Bass up mode, default mode, 60% volume, old firmware, new firmware, old, new, old, new, no change. That's basically exactly the same. Bass peak 14.7, 14.9, it's the same. So basically no change. I say basically, if you look really, 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 really closely, you could make an argument at the very high end, say 13 kilohertz and up, maybe up to a decibel more on the new firmware. But to all intents and purposes, what you're gonna hear no difference. I'm gonna test maximum volume. What's the actual headroom? Any difference? Because a lot of people said they lost volume uh, last time around. Now, I'm gonna test bass up default mode. Before and after, 100%. I'm also gonna test custom mode. I'm gonna leave it at flat, what I call flat. That is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 dB. So all sliders in the middle, the default mode, making no changes at all, before and after. Um, and if there was no changes between firmwares, it would be exactly the same. But if they've tweaked uh, the base settings in any way, we're going to see. And if there's any change in headroom, we're going to see. Maximum volume testing. Sorry, my honey, get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't got no time. 
ain't about that I ain't about that life uh, You may say I ain't doing it right You yeah. can do what you like But on. I'm choosing my life Okay And I refuse your advice I ain't about that life I ain't about that life Ain't a project wife Got my logic right Cause I'm not your type that life. I ain't got that life. Sorry, my heart ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. 100% volume, bass up, default mode, old firmware, new firmware. Now it's a bit different. Old firmware, new firmware. New firmware, louder. It's louder from about 150 hertz up. One kilohertz. Peaking at th minus 30. New firmware, minus 31. Old firmware significantly louder 100 percent volume custom mode custom mode but set to flat naught db on all sliders old firmware new firmware old firmware new firmware again louder on the new firmware but deep bass unchanged going louder from about 150 hertz again so this testing shows sound signature unchanged but top volume Headroom is increased. Bass up mode goes louder. Custom mode goes louder on new firmware. So this is brilliant news. It's looking as though we've got some volume increase and we didn't even have to pay for it. Up to maybe two, two and a half decibels more. That is significant. That's what my actual track said. If I play some tracks, that's what my actual ana analyzing of the track says. What if I just compared before and after Test tones, frequency response measurements. Actual frequency response measurements. 66% default mode, bass up. Old firmware, new firmware. It's exactly the same, no change. 66% volume. Custom EQ, all sliders set to plus six decibels. I'm seeing what the absolute headroom is. Old firmware, plus six decibels. New firmware, plus six decibels. Exactly the same. So now I'm looking at 100%, default mode, bass up. 100% old firmware, new firmware. And as you can see, clearly now goes louder by about two decibels louder. It's big and it's louder everywhere. Old firmware, maximum volume, custom mode, plus six decibels. New firmware, it's going louder. And the higher up the frequency range you go, the louder it goes. So we've got more headroom by about two and a half, up to two and a half decibels. So this is absolutely brilliant. We're not dealing with JBL. When there's a problem, they go ahead and they fix it when they say they're gonna fix it, and then they release it. They don't do what JBL do and simply <laughs> don't have any more firmware updates. A lot of us are not getting any more firmware updates. That way we can't complain about JBL firmware updates. So I know a lot of you keep saying, oh, when is an update for the uh, JBL Charge 4 and other speak? Well, I'm not getting uh, any updates. It may be that you're just on older firmware. So yeah, it's gone louder. Looks like we're doing okay, but hey, there was one other thing. They keep mucking about with how they handle stereo. You think, you know, it's a decent speaker, anchors seem to know what they're doing. So if I play them in, in stereo, if I paired them TWS, and I've got my custom settings in the master speaker, which is always the left speaker, and it's also the, always one that's in the blue light, the slave will be in the white light. So you're assuming Custom, I'm playing my custom settings on my master. Must be the same mode on the slave. But no, they have never <laughs> actually seemed to have managed to get to that point. So we've had various ways they have handled it. They've changed the way they have handled it. Uh, I think we started with custom mode on the master. And can, can you believe it? Bass off in the slave. Uh, the worst pairing you could have had. You, your chosen settings versus the worst settings, a bass cut. Then we went to custom settings and the bass up, a little bit more sense, but we actually want them to play in the same mode. So where are we at now? What have they done with stereo pairing? Testing left, right stereo. I'm setting beforehand in the app, separately each speaker, my left plus six decibels, my right speaker minus six decibels to see for sure if they are playing embedded settings, or if the right speaker is picking up the settings from the left master speaker when in stereo. So, 
Now in stereo, this is the left speaker. This is the right speaker. And as you can see, the right speaker is not picking up the settings from the master left channel speaker. That's clearly minus six dB for the custom, and that's clearly plus six dB in the custom settings. However, they are playing in custom mode when in stereo. It's just that they are clearly playing. They're already embedded settings because if I set the master to bass up, I get left bass up, right bass up. So they are both playing in the same mode when I set bass up. But if I set custom, they don't. So I have to set my own EQ separately before I start playing them in stereo. So when you hit custom mode on your master, those are my EQ settings. Having already set the right speaker previously to have the same custom mode, now they're basically both playing in custom mode. There is a slight difference between my speakers and there's possibly a little bit of a difference between the sliders, but basically they're both playing custom, my EQ settings, and that's how you're gonna to have to do it. The, the right speaker, the slave speaker, is not going to pick up the same custom settings as your master left speaker. Just to show you there is a difference between both speakers, this is bass up default mode, where they will have the exact same tuning, and as you can see, the difference is there. One of my speakers plays stronger, between two and nine kilohertz, and then is weaker from nine kilohertz upwards. That's the difference between the speakers. That's nothing to do with the EQ modes. So yeah, it's not all good news, is it? Um, it's not bad news. Where we're at is if you individually set your custom EQ, once you've got your custom EQ, you know, sorted on one of the speakers, make sure you separately embed those settings into each speaker. Then when in stereo, they will both play with your custom EQ. And if you're switching to a different mode, uh, flat, original, whatever, want bass up, then they will both play in that EQ mode. And when you switch to custom, they will play in custom mode, but only with the already embedded settings. So Slave will not pick up custom EQ from the master, but it will play its own embedded custom EQ. And that is how you will get working stereo with the Motion Plus, definitely now, pound for pound, world champion. I mean, now it's going even louder. I think it's basically, it's a decent firmware, well, it's a good firmware update. It fixed some of the other problems and we can play proper stereo. You just have to set them separately with your custom EQ. If indeed you're even gonna use custom EQ for stereo. That's the firmware update. Thank you for watching. And I hope you got the information you're looking for from this video.